Hello everyone, today we will learn about Google Finance function in Google Sheet. This function can fetch 20 plus kind of data points for any share within seconds. This video is going to be very useful for anyone who works in financial markets in share either due to personal interest or due to their professional engagement. So let's understand this function first. So to use Google Finance function you have to type equal to Google Finance in Google Sheets and what it does it fetches current or live information about shares or historical information about any shares from the google finance so for the sake of this video we would be only covering live information for historical information i am planning a separate video so one of the most widely used cases of google finance function is to get live prices or current prices running of any security so for that uh, the first parameter of this function is ticker and second parameter is attribute uh, attribute means you can fetch multiple information about a share so let's say i want to fetch information about infosys so i have to pass it like from which exchange I want to fetch this information so I have given the name as NSC national stock exchange and then colon and then a script code so this is mandatory you have to pass and then what attribute you want to fetch information about so it can be price it can be opening price it can be closing price it can be highest price of the day it can be volume of the day it can be currency etc however you can see second parameter third parameter and fourth parameter and fifth parameter are optional because these are in a square bracket so let's see what happens if i don't give a second parameter so when you will not pass the second uh, parameter attribute it considers is price means live price so it has given you uh, the live price of infosys here even if you will not pass the exchange name uh, still it will give you a price but then you will not know from which exchange this price is being picked so it's a standard practice to put the exchange name over here and uh, then put a colon and then your uh, script code so different exchanges follows uh, their different uh, terminologies so for example in india we have nsc as national stock exchange and bombay stock exchange has uh, exchange code as bom for google finance function and then you have to pass the script code so for infosys code on nsc is uh, infi while for bsc the code is 500209 let's say i want to fetch price from the bombay stock exchange so now i need to give this uh, exchange name and uh, the code of the share so since this is a, a string so i need to parse it in double quotes so bomb exchange name then colon and then this a script code now this is fetching you can see both the price are almost same uh, which should ideally happen because uh, uh, this is being traded in same currency let's understand other attributes uh, about google finance function so here i have already listed a few share code for reliance tcs in fee etc and then i have configured ticker as nsc colon reliance through by joining it with and or you can do it with concatenate function as well so the attribute of google finance function can be many and those are listed here so your ticker will become constant this one and if you want to fetch the price you need to write price over here if you want to let's say fetch uh, opening price for today then you need to write price open so today the stock has opened at 2659 2703 and since uh, this is a drop down it would be dynamic in nature now it is fetching it for tcs now it is fetching it for infosys now it is fetching for titan okay so i am doing it for reliance only we can also do a cell referencing over here so equal to google finance and then this i have listed all the attributes over here and i would be dragging it uh, down so i am locking this this so you can see this is for uh, reliance 
for reliance the live price running is 2717.5 opening price for today has been 2659 and the highest price today is 2710 lowest is this much this much is the volume traded this much is the market capitalization the time of last trade was this one how uh, how much data delayed how far data delayed is this this is the price by earning ratio of reliance this is the earning per share at 52 week high price 52 week low price change change percentage uh, previous day closing price, uh, how many outstanding shares are there and in which currency uh, this information is being fetched. So let's go to the NSE live website and see over here for Reliance, uh, the opening price you can see is 2659. So which is here, the highest price is 2719.9. 2719 2719.9 lowest price is 2657 so yeah so you can see uh, this is how this function is helpful in bringing live information about any shares and it can have multiple use cases uh, like uh, building your own uh, a stock dashboard your portfolio tracker your trade journal or your stock screener so this is half use of google finance function only because we have not touched the other attributes uh, uh, like third attribute fourth attribute and fifth attribute because this is used in uh, fetching historical information about the share in a uh, tabular format so i would be making another videos on that and uh, I am planning to make a series on Google Finance function to understand the multiple use cases on that. Even the very first video on this channel I had made about this function only so you can see it there and let's meet you guys uh, in rest of the videos about Google Finance function and if you are interested about learning more about Google Sheets then we have multiple videos uploaded on channel about that as well. So thank you guys thank you for staying tuned with us. Uh, Please like our videos and subscribe to the channel if this content is helpful to you in any ways. Thank you guys. Bye.